Hi, and welcome to a video on how to graph exponential functions on the TI Inspire. For the purpose of this video, we are going to examine from the Algebra 1 textbook, Chapter 6, Section 3, Example 3, Graphing an Exponential Function. So let's go to our calculators. This is a quick lesson, so we're going to go ahead and graph an exponential function. So I'm going to create a graph, going to my graphing icon down here on my calculator screen. And I'm graphing the exponential function, as a reminder, 4 times 2 to the power of x. So I'll type in 4, uh, parentheses, 2, close parentheses, and then I need to do my x as an exponent. So make sure you don't do the x directly after. That's going to be a different function and not exponential. You need to use this little button, this little called a caret button, and it brings you up into the exponent spot, and you can type in x. Hit enter, and you'll see your function. You can identify your y-intercept. We can see there's an asymptote. We can view, uh, if I do control T, the table of values, showing my values here. Notice it never, no matter how far I go, it doesn't actually become negative numbers. Its scientific notation gets very small, but doesn't actually get to a negative because you'll see the asymptote here. Um, and that is really the basic of all you need to know about graphing exponential functions. Now, a quick point, if I happen to have a function where that I've got uh, let's say I have 2 to the power of x minus 2. Make sure you keep everything up in that exponent. Notice the x minus 1 here is all in the exponential spot. However, if I need to do 2 to the power of x and then a minus 1 that's not an exponent, I need to arrow over so that my cursor leaves that little exponent frame and comes down below. Then I could have minus 1. Notice that this looks very different than the 2 to the x, to the power of x minus 1. Hit enter, and you can see it creates different functions as well. Um, so if you have uh, values you want to keep in the exponent, you can stay up there. But otherwise, if you're in that exponent spot, let me arrow back up to it. If you're in this spot up here, little box, you can arrow to the left to, to leave that box and type in any other whole numbers or any other values you need to add in. And so that is the basics of graphing an exponential function.